The unfortunate timing of Cold War online play being unsafe happening right around the time that I get back into the game, I had a big decision to make on whether or not I would keep playing. And I've decided that I will. I love this game too much and I'm not going to let it die. But because this isn't the safest game to play online at the moment, I figure there's no better time than now to try to get as high around as possible offline, meaning that I have zero Aether Crystal upgrades. So basically this game is going to be like we've never played it at all. I have zero upgrades. It's almost like I've done nothing in zombies. Our, our weapons are all level one, but it does seem like we still have all the attachments but we don't have the upgrade to get every single attachment slot unlocked so we can only use five attachments on each weapon and oddly enough all the camos are here besides the mastery camos so i can put on whatever camo i want but gold diamond dark aether dark matter all that stuff cannot put it on so i'm just gonna rock with a default weapon and having no upgrades really hurts us in the field upgrade department because we don't have a whole lot of options here and i'm thinking our safest option to start is frost blast but we might have to move to aether shroud later on because ring of fire with no upgrades only boosts damage you don't get any of the you know ammo saving abilities of it later on create our own match okay the the map changing menu on here is kind of crazy so we do still have all of the maps the artwork's all different for it, or at least it's like the splash art that you see when you load in the game. But it says that we can pick all of these other maps for it too. This is weird. But since we're basically playing how the game was at launch, I want to play on D-Machina. And just to be clear, before we start here, there is actually nowhere for me to even look at our skills. Absolutely nowhere. We only have the, the play option the weapons option we have our operators and then barracks that's it let's go ahead hop in and get this thing started now i'm a little nervous going into this this is probably gonna be the toughest round 100 that i've ever done i wonder if like the health cap's gonna be any different because during like the start of the game it was kind of low then they brought it up a bit people complained about it and they brought it back down so i don't know if these zombies are gonna be any stronger or not but it does seem like we have the bowie knife which is weird this is one of the upgrades that you get maybe they made this default later on because before you would just butt zombies with your gun so i remember when i first started my dark aether grind like the very first time i didn't upgrade to the bowie knife till for like way down the line because i still wanted to get camo progress on these early rounds without wasting ammo and just hitting them with my gun a very weird reason not to upgrade something but i promise you i want to be as efficient as possible when grinding camo but i also haven't even seen a red weapon in so long they added in that super easter egg uh like was it two years ago now it's been a while but since then i feel like i haven't really had the pact turned off and i haven't even seen a red weapon since before that was added it looks like the rampage inducer is still here though and it goes till round 55 so maybe this is like a little more updated version of cold war zombies not exactly how it would be at launch but we basically have everything like we're starting out brand new i wonder if you can still pack a punch the die though that was uh an update that came way later in this game's life cycle i kind of want to get it because we're not going to really have too many powerful weapons or weapons that we can make more powerful by using ring of fire and we're actually going to have to use a wonder weapon this time around. This is kind of fun. All right, let's work our way towards power. I want to try to get it set up as soon as possible. Oh, wait, with quick revive, does this even do anything solo anymore? I don't remember if it was an upgrade to be able to revive yourself with it. And all like the other passives with it were like faster health regen and probably some other stuff. I I'm not too sure. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've even upgraded any of those perks. I feel like any little bonus like stat boost I can get from these perks, I'm going to need. Okay, first button for power is pressed. Button two and button three. Now let's go grab our pack a punch part. Can we get lucky with one of these uh, aether crystals though? Give, oh, armor. Okay, that helps. Uh, I would prefer a perk. Any perk really? I'm not picky. Come on now, don't be shy. Oh, monkey bomb. You know what? I'll take it. Give me that. And pack punch is restored. Is there no coffin dance Easter egg? Is that not a thing online, or is it the round after you turn on pack a punch that it's here? Because I don't see any orbs. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pack my gun. And I think for my ammo mod, I want to go with dead wire, at least on one gun. Because those uh, megatons are going to be kind of crazy to kill. Yeah, it doesn't look like the coffin dance Easter egg shows up. That sucks. I wanted free jug. Let's upgrade our gun to green. And there's a megaton. Okay, this is something we need to test while we're still in an early round. Does cryo freeze affect him? No, he ran right fucking through it. And I'm so low, I'm going to die. Let's not use our, our one self revive already. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can craft more. Okay, I think we got him to split, but I'm pretty sure no matter what field upgrade we use, these guys are still going to hit us like a tank and there's nothing we can do about it because normally I would just run like Tesla storm or something and stun them while I do damage to them. But I'm pretty sure you need to upgrade Tesla storm to do damage to special enemies like to stun them. So that's just shocked. 
Okay, we got our key card though. I want to start getting the, the shockwave. I want to make sure that we have at least a decent weapon going into this. I forget how to do it though. Is it right here? Yeah. Give me our DIE remote. Oh, look at that. Our first intel collected. This kind of makes me want to go for Dark Aether all over again. All right, we got a huge train of zombies here. Let's see if we can get our DIE right away. This should be enough, right? Let's see how much this does against a little horde of zombies. Okay, it kills them all. Cool. Let's discharge this. And I will be taking my shockwave. And I think I want to try to get a different ammo mod for it. I don't know which one, though. So let's at least start with this. I'm just going to do part of the Easter egg real quick. We'll grab our canister. We'll shoot this down. Why did that not work? There we go. I want to see if the shockwave still pack a punchable. Oh, it is. Cool. All right. That helps us out a lot. And I'm grabbing elemental pop for our first perk. Put our canister down right there. And now we have to wait for a plague hound so we can fill that up and at least get one kind of ammo mod for it. Oh, there's dead shot. Does dead shot even lock to domes without an upgrade? Oh, it looks like electric or elemental pop still has electric cherry, which is cool. I was thinking it wouldn't, but Deadshot's going to help me out a lot because I can't aim for shit. Oh, perfect. A dog round. Just what we needed. Come and fill up this canister. Come here. There you go. Good dog. Actually, kind of a bad dog. I'm very low health. And I'm down. Fuck me, dude. Did I not fill my canister up? Did they gas up in the wrong spot? Oh, this is bullshit. All right, well, we'll have to come back. Oh, wait. We got a Megaton spawning, too. We gotta go make sure that he goes and hits this flower. There we go. We got it to glow the tree or the growth on the tree. Oh, fuck. I'm about to die. Oh, come here, Jug. We'll put that down right there. Come on, Plague Hound. Let's fill this up. Don't be shy. Right over here. There you go. Yeah, suck the, all that up. I'll be taking that canister. And we just gotta toss it on here and give it a little shot. And now we can come over here and grab the Nova 5 whenever we want. I'm trying to remember how to get the electricity one. We have the one for ice now, so I'll go grab that. But the electric beam is the one that I want. Should be uh, somewhere, I think up here. Bro, I don't remember none of this. But I can get like most of the ammo mods. There's the fuse that we need. And we can throw that onto this. Have that cut that open. We get one more ammo mod. Wait, we might be able to take this one and do it. Maybe I'm stupid. Actually, I know I am. Oh, no, I figured it out. Let's go. Give me that. And then we shoot it onto this one, right? Yeah. Look at me figuring shit out. There's another one. There we go. We got two in there. Just one more. No! Grab it first. We got it. Do we keep it? Oh, we do. Cool. All right, we got it just in time. It also looks sick like this. Can you inspect it? Oh, you can. Look at that. We got the glowing dick pump. There we go. Now give me the electro bolt. Yes, sir. All right. Now we're good to start grinding out some rounds. And just to be safe, let's see if we can buy a self revive. We can. Sick nasty. Now I'm going to try to save up our salvage until I can get like uh, my armor maxed out. And then I think I'm going to turn the rampage inducer on. There's two and three. We can get our gun to blue. And that's about all we can do. Bars. And I'm a bit of a coward. I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I turn on Rampage Inducer. I want to get some more perks. All right, let's try to grab as many perks as we can. And then when I'm full on perks, then we turn on Rampage Inducer. I'm going to keep moving the goalpost because I'm a little scared. Okay, normally I don't feel very safe in Penthouse. I normally always go down, but right now I'm feeling kind of confident. I say as zombies are fucking wailing on me. I was just talking shit about Cryo Freeze or whatever the fucking snow field upgrade is that i'm using right now but it's actually doing pretty good for me okay we officially have all of our perks and guess what i'm moving the goalpost again i'm going until i can pack a bunch of my guns a little more why am i spinning my controller's fucking drifting now just another layer of difficulty all right we got enough money let's go ahead and pack a bunch of this and then turn on the rampage inducer are we doing this at the start of a round not my uh, smartest choice but we have this monkey bomb for a reason let's go ahead and toss it probably up there 
and then pack a punch one two and we're good i'm gonna go right back up our tunnel let's turn the rampage inducer on and uh run for our fucking lives or maybe we don't need to because we have a nuke i want to try at least one round up here in penthouse we have no money so it's uh very risky if we go down here but i felt like i was doing decent because if we can get the penthouse strat done we can get up to around 100 way faster than normal and the suction version of this with insta kill is crazy I mean, maybe not against this guy, but against all other zombies, you can fill this up like immediately. Insta kills your best friend with this. We actually might not even need to shoot it normally. We can kind of just sit right here. Hit him with the old sucky suck. I hope this holds up at higher rounds because this is doing pretty well right now. I don't think I've ever tried to high round with the shockwave. Like this is probably my least used wonder weapon in this game. I even use the Ray K more than this. The Ray K is kind of cheeks. And we've made it to the point where we have no ammo on this and it's kind of terrifying. I've used two field upgrades in a row. And I think we're good to use it again. Whew. I just got to start every round by trying to use the sucky suck. My laser beam isn't even here anymore. I've used this so much it disappeared. No, we went down. Shit. Okay, let's uh, test the theory if we can get up with quick revive. Does not look like it. Okay. Good thing we have a self-revive then. And we need to get the fuck out of here. I need to go train in the spawn room until we're safe. This is bad. That's all right. I'm no stranger to training in here. We're gonna stun these guys. Nade them. Okay, the stun did nothing to some of them. We don't have that many zombies left. We should go get our armor and then grab all of our perks. Yeah, I'm throwing down a stun. We got our armor back. Heading up through this portal. And let's try to buy back every perk before all the zombies get up here. They're already here. Woo, this is scary. Okay. Easy does it, zombies. Easy does it. There we go. All right, we're good. We're back in business. But I am starting to get scared of Penthouse. These zombies are getting way too strong for this. Okay, stun again. I need to think of a way out of here. I'm not thinking very much. And I'm dead. Oh, fuck. I never bought another self-revive. Oh, that's the one thing I was missing. Oh, shit. We do have tombstone, though. Can I crawl off of this? I cannot. All right. Well, let's tombstone shadow. This is our only way up. No! Oh, I was going to grab the insta-kill and then try to get all my ammo for the DIE because it's like an insta-kill doing all that. Oh, and we died on round 38. Man, it is tough with no upgrades. I was feeling good too. It's like whenever I go down, I just start snowballing. But our final stats here, 237,000 points. However many kills, four downs. That sucks. That's just not going to cut it. We got to try again. I'll see you guys when we get back to where we were. All right. We finally made it back to round 38. We're right back where it ended. Now, the only thing different this time around is that my M16 has Shatter Blast on it, but I have not really used it like at all. And uh, my controller drift is worse. I don't know if I'm dumb or I just don't understand dead zones. But to me, it seems like if you move the dead zone up, that you, it requires like more force or the stick to be over more for it to start moving. But I basically have my dead zones fully up for the minimum input. And they still like drift horribly. So I don't know what's going on, but it's getting annoying. And also, I don't have the Rampage Inducer on this time because uh, I'm thinking that might have been what got me killed, but I'm going to get myself killed. Literally, extremely close. And I also have a cruise missile this time around for emergency situations like that, and I didn't remember until after, so my reaction time's a little off. So I, I thought ahead about all the ways that I can save myself in this spot, but it's all about if I use them. But we've beat it new record on no upgrades and honestly i'm starting to think maybe brain rot might be the best uh, ammo mod to use here because regardless of you know what level brain rot you have i think the zombies will still do the same amount of damage to each other it's just they might not infect other zombies while they die and it might not just go off as often and i think the only upgrade you get with brain rot is that you can brain rot like special and elite zombies or maybe just special zombies i'm not too sure but i don't know uh, I'm kind of scared to go back down to pack a punch because I feel like I'll die on the way back. So we're we're kind of just sticking with it and hoping that uh, brain rot goes off on its own. Oh shit! Oh, I should have uh, cruise missiled right there, but the megaton just came in and bitch slapped me. But that is my first down, believe it or not. 
my first time going down and uh, I should probably revive soon. I just want to make sure that I'm not very close to all these zombies. There we go. And then I can kind of dip on out of here this way. And we go and train. So I'm thinking now it's pretty risky to be up in penthouse. Like around round 38 is when uh, the health gets kind of crazy. And I think that's around the point where uh, it goes above my pay grade in terms of skill. Yeah, I'm, I'm better at uh, making dick jokes than I am at surviving in penthouse. So penis or whatever. Oh, fuck. He almost just bitch slapped me out of oblivion. Okay. This is an issue. I'm going to try to stun them all so I can buy another self revive because quick revive is not going to do shit. Honestly, don't know why I have it. It's kind of just, you know, something to do to grab all the perks. I don't see a reason to not. But yeah, let's buy that back. We can afford to lose a few of these zombies. Megaton, you can go too. I wouldn't mind if you left. Oh, fuck. He's fast. There we go. We got him split. And once we kill the, the twins that come out, we can go get our perks back and get some armor because we uh, desperately need that. I feel like that's like the hardest part about D-Machine is being so far away from that armor stand at all times. I mean, you can take the portals and everything to it, but it's still risky to go to it. Every other map, I feel like it's a lot easier to go refill your armor. This map is kind of a chore. I got to be very careful not to kill the rest of my zombies here while taking this guy out. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Fuck. Oh man, these things hit hard. And we basically got all of our armor back though from killing them, so. Maybe we just need perks. And I think maybe I should go get brain rot. The more I think about it, you know, shatter blast ain't what it, it used to be. Or it's not what it could be without any upgrades. Let's just go do that. All right, come on home, brain rot. And I think I have enough to get this to gold as well. And then we'll be uh fully good to go. All right, clean. We got everything we needed. And if I get a uh, comfortable training here, I'll turn the Rampage Inducer on for the next, you know, 10 rounds that'll last for. It doesn't really feel that necessary. The zombies are about pretty close to where they'd be anyways. They just might be a little bit faster. And so far, so good on the training, but it definitely takes way longer to do than Penthouse. And I'm also starting to think maybe the OG version of the Shockwave might work better because this doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But it does help me move a lot faster. Like, you still get a decent amount of movement speed while shooting this. Like, better than what I get with the M16. So it helps to get kills while training. But it do not kill as good. Fuck it, dude. I'm turning on the Rampage Inducer. It's only 10 rounds. We can do 10 rounds like that. And if we can't, then it's not meant to be, you know? We've uh, actually made it to round 50. So far, so good. Still haven't gone down. Knock on wood right now. Also bars, but what I've been doing is trying to stun the Megaton so I can get like a full blast on them and get them to split. Pause. And that seems like the only way to really like take these guys out without it being an issue. Fuck me. I, as soon as I say, oh, I haven't gone down. Guess what happened? Went down. It was fucked up. And extremely difficult without any sort of upgrades. So I think I know what I got to do. Carpenter, give me some am or armor. I'm going to go over here. Toss a stun. Hopefully they all, they didn't fuck off. So we'll use that. We will buy a self revive that we're probably going to need in a second. Oh, that was fucking close. Okay. I think we're good now. We just got to make sure we leave a zombie so we can actually uh, buy some perks back. Okay. Only two zombies left. And we have two megatons. We might actually be good. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. There's more zombies that are spawning in. I should have waited a second. Oh my god. So low health. And this is like not the place you want to be when you're low health. This is what we got to do. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Okay. This elevator should give us a little bit of time. I'm not going to go up to the park machine because I will die in penthouse. We just need to do a little bit more training. And we're good. We're golden. Hopefully. Oh, and now I'm out of ammo. Fantastic. Fantastic do that and keep running at least for a second oh there's a max ammo beautiful not beautiful holy shit 20 health oh and of course you gotta get fucking sniped fuck you a okay, big issue here we do not have another stun to throw to be able to buy another self revive so we kind of just got to wing this. I think I just saw a stun on the ground though. Let me see if I can pick it up without dying. They're standing right on it. 
Please. There we go. Stunned. Throwing it. That should get them all. All right, we have another self revive. The game goes on. Fuck, this is stressful. It's honestly a win if we make it to health cap. No, dude. Ow. I'm gonna fucking kill this guy with my pistol. You better run all the way over there. Time to buy another self revive. Extremely fast. Or slow, depending on who you ask. Also, bars. Damn, I'm spitting today. Holy fuck. This shit is hard. Woo! Let's not go down again. We can't afford to keep losing money when we still need to buy perks back. Okay. We also can't afford to get fucking launched. Oh, god damn. We ended the round. Okay. Here's the thing, though. I have a cryo freeze. And I have a cruise missile. We have to get perks right now. So let's cruise missile really quick. Just so the zombies don't run towards us. We can take a few of them out. We'll grab some perks. And then we cryo. And then we run for our fucking lives. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't believe that worked. We still need armor, though. Damn, dude, this whole thing falls apart if you don't have all the right equipment. Brain included in that. Oh, fuck me. No way I survived that. Holy shit. And our M16 is basically worthless at this point. I even made it with, like, high rounds in mine. I put the cavalry lancer barrel on there so I can get through armor easier. Oh, man, this shit sucks. And I know what you're thinking. Maybe I should have had, like... Uh, a task force barrel class or like uh, a different kind of damage class on so I can just apply blueprint. You cannot do that on offline. But honestly, I did not try to make a blueprint. So maybe it's doing that because I don't have any. I don't know. Either way, I can't do it now. Fuck me, dude. I, I had one second to think about popping my field upgrade and I was dead. I even did pop it. This is fucked up, and these are not getting cheaper, I tell you what. And we're also at the point in this grind where each round is taking, like, 10 minutes. You don't realize how spoiled you are with all these upgrades until you don't got them. And I just want to point out, since I said I haven't gone down, I've gone down five times. I was playing silently until then, basically. It's this damn mouth of mine. And we're also getting to the point where I gotta buy armor, like, three times a round. So, COD, uh, if you could go ahead and just, uh, fix this whole hacker problem. And I can play online with all my upgrades. That'd be fantastic. And we've actually made it to health cap. Surprisingly. Definitely the hardest journey to health cap I've ever had in this game. This looks like the last of it right here. Let me just get some ammo for our shockwave. And we have defeated the rampage inducer. Honestly did not think we'd make it this far. Especially after the way that our first attempt went. You know what? Maybe I've grown. Maybe in that time, I can survive penthouse. I'm going to give it a try. Because man, training around in that first room takes an excruciatingly long time to do. I just need to play a lot safer up here. Like a, like a lot safer. I'm already like out of all my uh, field upgrades, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. I even pulled out the cruise missile. What the fuck? Just a frame late. <sighs> Why can't I do penthouse? It would be so much faster. It's so much more convenient for everybody involved. But no, I just have to be born with little shit eating thumbs where I can't move on the sticks well enough to actually do it. And then even when I play on keyboard and mouse, I get fucked up up there. Even with all the upgrades, there will be a day where I'm good at that strategy. I just won't be able to tell you when. Oh, fuck. No fucking way, dude. That sucks dick. Did I just back into a rock? That's fucking dumb. And even the worst part about this is that these 4,000 kills will not go towards like my my total amount of kills in zombies because we're playing offline. Well, shit. Uh, we made it exactly to health cap and then just fucking died off right after that. You can chalk it up to me being an idiot and going back and thinking I can, you know, win in penthouse or do well in penthouse. But I think I, I just fucked up walking into a rock. And you know what? That's probably like the best way for me to go. It is definitely way more difficult to do this without any upgrades at all. And it's just a shame that this is the only way that I can try to get to a high round because if I try to play online, like with all my upgrades, someone's probably gonna boot me off and I'm gonna have to restart anyways. So maybe I should just try to get better at this offline mode, but there ain't much to grind on here if nothing saves. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. Call of Duty, please fucking fix your games and stop 
it's so people can just exploit this shit just to fuck with other people. It's annoying. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.